Hey, I'm Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Rocky Mounts West Slope 3 hitch mounted platform bicycle carrier. We have it installed onto this vehicle that's equipped with a two inch receiver hitch. We will take off these bikes and then take the rack off, show you how the rack attaches to the vehicle and reinstall the rack. And as we're doing that, go over all the features that make this particular rack unique. So for starters, this is a three bike carrier and it's a platform carrier. So we'll go ahead and take off these bikes. And as I do, I'll just kind of discuss what I'm doing. So I'm gonna press this blue release lever here to release the ratchet strap for the rear wheel. And then there's another blue lever at the top here to release the hook that's holding down the front wheel. So here we have a kid's bike. This is a 24 inch wheel bike. This rack actually can accommodate bikes anywhere from a 20 inch all the way up to a 29 inch wheel size. So here we have a hybrid bike and I'm going to go ahead and release that rear wheel strap first and then release the front hook and off that one goes. Now one thing you'll notice just generally the overall appearance of the rack is that there is this rack is designed to provide lots of ground clearance. This particular vehicle has a fair amount of ground clearance to begin with, but it is well suited for, for vehicles that may be lower or just any vehicle where you may need more ground clearance. This definitely will help in that area. It's what they refer to as stadium loading, meaning each bike is progressively higher. Okay, let me get this bike off to the side. Okay, so now it's currently in the deployed position. We'll go ahead and put it into the stowed position. Just bring these arms back into place. You'll notice there's a rubber stopper where the arm will rest. That way it won't bounce. And if it does, it's, it's just touching the rubber there. Now we have a blue knob up underneath. I'll pull that knob and that allows the rack to move into the stowed position. Now, I just have the hitch bolt threaded by hand. I'm gonna go ahead and take the rack off and show you how it can actually, how it's actually attached to the vehicle. So, this is a dedicated two inch receiver and inside the hitch you have weld nuts in which the hitch pin threads to. And this particular rack has the option to allow you to thread from either the passenger or the driver's side. That way, if you have clearance issues with the end of the, this hitch pin, you can change it to the opposite side. So the purpose of it being threaded is that will pull the stinger to the side of your receiver and provide a very effective theft, uh, a very effective anti-wobble. Okay, construction-wise, this is all steel construction, so it's very durable and strong. Square, square tubular steel and round tubular steel for the main platform. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it back up and load it back on. So I'll just lift, insert the stinger into the receiver, and then I'll use the hitch pin as a feeler in order to find the hole. So as I push the rack inward, it automatically finds that hole. And what I wanna do is thread that bolt in as far as possible with just my hands and with just my fingers. And that ensures that you're not cross-threading and you've got a nice, everything is in proper alignment. So the bolt has a flat washer as well as a lock washer. And so that way, once it's tight, it'll have a very snug fit. Now the rack also includes a tool to tighten and I'll go ahead and show the difference so as you see now at this moment the rack will wobble and this bolt has the anti-wobble feature so once that's tight all that wobble goes away and so you have a nice steady ride when you're driving now if you have your own wrench that's always a, a benefit to be able to, to tighten on the, 
the rack with your own wrench that if you have a socket wrench, that'll help to speed things up. Okay, so now you can see we have a very secure fit to the receiver and no wobble between your stinger and your hitch. Now on the other side of this, of this hitch pin, we do have a lockdown point and that lockdown point is compatible with the Rocky Mounts accessory cable and lock. And that's a product that's sold separately to provide security for locking the rack to the vehicle. And also when you have the bikes, the cable will lock to this upper portion, which has that same end piece to it. And so you'll have a cable that can lock your bikes to the rack and then your rack to the vehicle. And that is a product that's sold separately. Okay, so now once again, we can take this blue knob and lift, and that allows us to bring the rack into the, into the carrying position. Also, this knob has the purpose, if I pull it again, to bring it down into an access position. So this is a position that allows for either loading at a lower height, which I can demonstrate that, but also to open up the rear hatch even when you have bicycles loaded. So let's go ahead and demonstrate loading a bike with it in this low position. Okay, so I'll just move these arms to the outside and extend the hooks outward. Open up your, your wheel strap and then we can go ahead and grab generally your largest, heaviest bike or at least your heaviest bike. Actually in the manual it says you can, uh, if you have any kind of clearance issues between bikes, loading the smallest bike can, can sometimes help eliminate those clearance issues. Okay, so I have the I have the bike on and I can go ahead and bring the strap through. So this is an alternative loading method if you find the height of the rack too challenging to lift your bike. But generally, I'll go ahead and bring it to the carrying position. Generally, you would load your bikes in this position as you see here. So I'll go ahead and give it a good, make sure those are on tight. And let's look at it again with another bike. Okay, get it facing the opposite direction. And before I lift, I wanna make sure that the, the cradles are all ready to accept the wheels. And I'll show you also a technique for loading a bike when you do have a high rack to lift to. So if you grab the lowest part of the frame and the fork, that way when you stand up, the bike is already at a good height, making it much easier to load. Additionally, you'll notice I'm standing within the rack this is a unique feature to this type of form factor where you have this area within the rack that allows you to walk up closest to the bike. And that does make it much more convenient when you're loading the bikes rather than having to lean over the entire length of the bike. Now, before we load the final bike, I wanna show this pivoting rear wheel cradle. So the cradle here can accommodate wheelbases all the way up to 50 inches. And so when you set your rear wheel into this position, it automatically will adjust to that wheelbase. And also you'll notice you have a narrow section here for a skinny road bike tire, and then it widens up for tire sizes all the way up to three inches. Okay, so let's load up that last bike. And again, I'll grab the, I'll bend at the knees, grab the bike at the lowest stable spot. And that way, when I stand up, it's the majority of the way there without a whole lot of arm strength required. So here you can see what I was mentioning before. I just set the wheel down and I can just press down on the bike and it automatically adjusts to the width, the uh, wheelbase, wheelbase length. Okay, now we go ahead and clamp down on on the front as well. 
And so at the front here, you do have a, an area where you can grab to pull down snug onto that front wheel. And you do want to get this, this hook as close as you can to the first point of contact without it actually touching. And again, like we looked at earlier on the rear wheel cradle, we have a little notch at the top of that hook for narrow road bike tires, but then it widens out for those wider mountain bike tires all the way up to three inches wide. Okay, so I've got it in place and I pull down good and snug. And then there you can see we've got all, all three bikes loaded up, ample clearance above the ground so that if you have a steep incline, you're, you're very unlikely to drag anything and a consistent ride height between all the different bike sizes and, and bike types. Okay, so those are all the key features of the Rocky Mounts West Slope 3. This product and the full line of Rocky Mounts products are available at RackAttack.com. Please see the link in the video description for all your buying options. If you have any questions or comments on this particular rack, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. And consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We have over 2,000 rack-related videos, and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for this one, and thanks for watching.